Welcome home is the latest rabbit hole that the internet is falling in love with, and here at FU Review, we've fallen in love with it too. Welcome Home was said to be a puppet show shown on TV during the 1970s. However, no footage can be found online of the show. The creators of the website have gotten the internet fascinated as they've explained that they have been receiving letters from colorful envelopes from an unknown source telling them more and more about this story and the characters of the show. Here you can see the original letter they received, showing the Welcome Home characters' original art pieces, which to be honest looks incredibly disturbing. But that is just the tip of the iceberg to the terrifying secrets that the public, as well as the creators, have discovered. The original cartoons that were sent to them show some of the text through the image, as if they had been left by ink marks after getting wet. Let me know if you can make out what it says though in the comments, as I could only read a couple of the words from the paper. Since the website has been live, really creepy hints have been found on the site that are the stuff of nightmares to be honest, and it's all described around this happy, child-friendly world which makes it so much more eerie. But firstly, for the viewers that haven't heard of this before, what is the Welcome Home World? We're going to keep this bit of the video quite short for those who don't know about Welcome Home, as we want this video to be about the terrifying secrets that have been found by the internet. However, some people might not actually know what Welcome Home is. So here's a quick recap to keep everybody up to speed. Welcome Home Arc is an animated world with characters and their neighborhood houses, which was created digitally from the letters in the post that the creators have mysteriously, anonymously received. No one knows if the website owners are being blackmailed, forced, or if this is just a hoax to add to the storyline of horror. But what first seemed like an adorable set of characters and homes, soon became quite disturbing when people read between the lines and saw the hidden messages. These feel-good characters remind me of something out of a horror game called We Happy Few which depicts a world where if you're unhappy, you'll be imprisoned, beaten, or even killed. The characters in Welcome Home, in clockwise order of the houses, are Howdy Pillar, the big friendly caterpillar who works at the store called Howdy's Place. Barnaby, who lives on the left, is the goofy layabout with a love for jokes, who is best friends with the main character named Wally. We then have Frank Frankly, who lives in the greenhouse. He has a passion and love for butterflies, but still doesn't seem to be able to smile when he's around one. In fact, in most of the images of him, he's not able to smile at all and has a consistent frown. Living at the top, just next to Frank Frankly, is Julie Joyful. There are some incredibly uncomfortable and unsettling things about this character that we have stumbled upon and we'll explain later in the video. In the house, with the star at the doorway, we have Sally Scarlet, who is said to have been a puppet on the show that needed two hands to move as the star head was too heavy to be held up naturally. It says on the site that residents would act stories out on stage, either for the viewer or for the other neighbours, that would be displayed in the show as the storytime segments. These were mainly focused on fairy tales, with an abnormal turn, either at Sally's will or her expense. Next we have Poppy Partridge. On the website it claims that she is often shown in the cartoon to not use any equipment, for knitting or baking, as she is too afraid to use utensil equipment. I have no idea why, but this is quite unsettling. Second to last, we have Eddie Deer, who works at the post office and is kind, reliable, and determined. And finally, we have the house right in the middle, with the eyes that are constantly moving and watching all of the other houses on repeat. Wally Darling lives here, who is the main character of the 1970s show. It is important to note that when you click on the link on Wally's home, it explains that Wally's house itself is a character of its own, which is called Home. This doesn't speak, but it can see and think. Please remember this, as it becomes a very creepy aspect moving forward. So what are the hidden secrets that the internet have stumbled across though, and why are these so disturbing? When you look on the website under why they started it all, something very strange happens. If you highlight just the top layer of the sentence, they've written a hidden message saying, when I unwrapped this first letter, I felt it. I heard it. Open, open, open. I want it out. I'm going to get it out. Under it, it explains, I hope that this website would grab the attention of someone who has seen the show before and could tell us more about it. If this wasn't possible, then we wanted to see if we could be the first to showcase this lost piece of media to help spur on the search for its existence. Many of our guest book signatures have talked about seeing this show before, so this is a good sign. It means it is inside of you too. That's already pretty strange, but when you highlight over the end of the paragraph, there is further hidden text. This text is saying the three words, does it hurt? A bit further down in the Q&A, they answer the question about how many episodes they believe there was of the show. However, when you highlight the end part, you can see another hidden message 
This time it's saying, The numbers are so hard to read. Sometimes I can't see them. The theme of not being able to see or being watched is something that continuously gets followed throughout the theme of the website. Further up, we can see the second Q&A question under, how did you begin your research into Welcome Home? If you highlight the end of the paragraph, you can see it says, but it hurts. So far, we've not been able to figure out what exactly hurts so much and why they're so interested in maybe the reader's pain. However, occasionally we've stumbled across images deep into the website, which continue around the theme of pain or discomfort such as these images. When you click on the word your in the top map of the houses, we're taken to the screen that shows the word you. But if you wait a little longer, Wally, the main character of the show, which originally aired October 11th, 1969, is explained to be our best friend. And when we click on the darkness underneath Wally's house, we're taken to a different page that shows this. Additionally, throughout the website, there are letters that appear to be out of place. When you collect all of these letters and add them to the end of the URL, you get taken to this page. And when you click on the phone here, it loads a really disturbing song that Wally then sings. Could Wally be asking the house he lives at if they like the song? Could the bangs in the house be speaking back to him using their words? There are so many speculations to this that you can find on YouTube and across the internet. A YouTuber named Inside a Mind explores the links and rearranged some of the letters in the URL and got a number of different really creepy links loading up. One was a static TV which showed a few seconds of eyes watching the viewer. Are you able to spot them? Another is Wally hiding, appearing to be scared. It asks the following. Hello, you're there. I can't see you. Do you see me? Then stay quiet. This infers that for some reason Wally is terrified of something and not wanting the house or whoever it's hiding from to see them. It is sort of confirmed in a way through another alteration of the URL letters, showing Wally in the dark with the eyes of the house staring directly at him while he appears to be trying to grab for help. One thing that stands out to me is how Wally is the only character that looks at us all the time. In every picture he is staring right at us, 
which none of the other characters are doing. The only image I've been able to find where he's not staring directly at the camera is when he's speaking to his best friend Barnaby with a joke about him not reading books, but only reading one book. He's looking at Barnaby and what appears to be quite a wholesome image gets a bit dark when I zoomed in to what he was reading. In the book, the image on the two pages is exactly what's happening at the time, with him and Barnaby laying down next to each other, which gives me the idea that Wally likes to keep track of his friends and document what they've done. Could this be to let the house know later on that day? The house that is always watching his friends? Lastly is the guest book where you can write comments. Someone named Sally wrote about remembering this show. When looking over this, it just appeared to be a comment, but the website has actually replied to them very subtly. The image that covers the comment with the stars shown, when you open it in a new tab, is saved as a file in a response. In this example, it says, Sally, is that you? PNG. Another comment by somebody called Watchy says, Hey Wally, I hope you're cool and not super evil. That'd be a real bummer. When you click to open it, in a new tab, it replies, You don't like me, neighbor. Which I must admit is pretty eerie. And so is this comment, which says, Where am I? What is this place? If someone is reading this, then please help me. I have no clue what is happening here. And there are these people, I think. And they look almost like strange puppets from a child's book. But if someone's out there reading this, please help me, please. To which the question marked image above shows when you save it in a new tab, saying, why are you fibbing? You are not there. I don't see you. Please don't lie to me. Damn, that's weird. There's a lot more examples of this and even an empty comment box where Wally has a hidden message saying you're looking for me. Silly, silly, which I must admit is super strange when I stumbled across it. Overall, from an outside perspective, you can see this world of happiness, which brings smiles and bright, colorful houses and characters. But below is this whole separate story with pain, suffering, and a lot of references to eyes. I'm excited to see what happens to this universe next and if anything more will be discovered from the Welcome Home world. It's been fascinating exploring this, and it takes a lot of time and effort, so if you enjoyed the video, then please hit the like button and subscribe with notifications on. It really does help the channel grow. Until next time, horror lovers, peace.